Hey guys, Kev here. Today we are going to be talking about the F Expansion Decam Synth Squad. Uh, what I'm going to be doing here, because this video is going to be a little long, is I'm going to dive straight into the presets of the four guys here. Um, you see the four synths we have here, Amber, Cypher, Fuser, and Strobe. Um, of these guys, I usually um, go through Strobe. That's probably the one of these guys I use the most. Um, but again, I do use these guys all mostly for presets. So I'm going to go through some presets here, let you guys hear what kind of sounds we have going on here, because I do think there are some great great sounds in these guys and I do think F Expansion did a great job here with um, this group of synthesizers and I do feel that they retain their value even though these guys are years old um, they are $250 for the bundle again for synthesizers and let's get through some of these sounds we're gonna go through amber first we we'll go through the factory sounds check out some bass that patch let's see let's check this one out through some other kinds of sounds here. I'm not really, there's, there was one bass sound that I really liked, but I'm not loving the basses here. Chord sounds are okay. Let's go to the drums. See, just a clap here. Yeah. We're gonna close this instance of Amber because for some reason it's giving me some feedback that it shouldn't be. Let's open a new instance. That was kind of strange. Let's go back. And let's go through some leads this time. Let's just go some keys this time. Gonna open a milk. And I wonder if this guy have any effects in here. I don't think it really does. Um, yeah, it doesn't have any effects in here. Usually, um, and this is kind of with any synthesizer in me, I usually go through my own effects anyway. Um, and I know Fuser has effects. But I've, um, usually like I go through my own effects. Like I said, the main guy I've used to these guys is Strobe. Strobe really gives me everything I need from here. Um, let's try some of these lead sounds. Cool sounds mixed in here. I think if you put some cool reverb on the squish chord sound, it actually would sound great. And my thing with and then listening to you know my big thing with Amber is just that there's just no effects.
some of these Juno strings. And now let's do some of these texture patches. This is just to give you guys a feel for what kind of sounds are actually in here. Really cool sounds in here. And when I'm going through these sounds and I'm thinking about Amber, I'm really thinking, you know, it really sounds really climatic to me. Like, it sounds like something that came out of a movie. And I really, really like that about, about Amber. Next, we're going to go to Cypher. And let's go through some of these arpeggiated sounds. <laughs> Let's go through some more arpeggiator. So let's go through some other Let's see, can I find a master volume on this guy? Because this guy is quiet. And that's kind of my problem with um, some of them, you know, the volume is great. Some of them, it's not so great. It's just really quiet. It really just kind of depends on... Just really kind of depends on the synthesizer. And I'm just going to have to turn this guy up a little bit just so you guys can hear the patch. See, so, you know, this particular patch, I have my everything on max volume and you still, I can barely hear it. So let's go through this guy. <laughs> Versus that guy, I have to turn everything down and um, insanely low under 10 dB just to, you know, keep from distorting the mic. So that's one thing I don't like about these guys. Alright, let's go through one more bass sound on this guy. Bass on either. Let's go through, see what kind of drums they have here. We have a lot of drums here. Really like that clap. I really like that kick sound. Great kick right there. A pair of really nice kicks right there. Uh, let's see, what, what about their snares? Great snare sounds. It's great synthesizer for electronic and dance music. Let's go through a couple of these keys. Don't like that. So 
you're not a big fan of these keys. Let's go through one more key sound on this guy. sound. Try some of these actual synth sounds. I like that eighties pop, pop um, poly synth sound. That's a great sound, and it's right on point. What else do we have here? All right, let's go to, I'm gonna go to Fuser now. I see, and Fuser is really cool because it mixes and matches effects. I'm gonna jump out of the browser for a second. And it actually allows you to add and do a lot of different things with effects, which I really like. It's not your traditional standard synthesizer. You see here you have the various synthesizers in here, and you can combine them, but it's not really a synthesizer by itself, but um, kind of reminds me of like the Combinator and Reason a little bit. Uh, that's probably the best um, comparison I can think of to make with this guy. Uh, let's go through some of these sounds in Fuser. And it also combines the sounds from all of the devices if you wanted to. So we're going to go through just a couple of these just so you can see what I mean. But there's really not a lot going on in Fuser. Now if we load this sound, we go to Synth 1, you see it's Strobe. And then you can actually select another Synth. And you can layer that synth, and this one's. And this guy's really about combining the synth sounds. So that's all I'm gonna do on Fuser because of that. Because again, it's more like a combination of the of the two. And then you can of course map everything out. You turn on your synthesizers, and you can modulate them. You can do animators, dump, add all kinds of different effects and things of that nature on there. So it's not like it's not really a synthesizer by itself but it's more like a combi, a combi patch in a way. So lastly, let's go to Strobe. And Strobe, this is the guy that I almost always go to, even though it is a mono synth. Um, I really do like the sounds in here. So I'm gonna just pull up some leads and we're gonna go through some of these sounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
And again, the volume issue with these sounds, this isn't my recording, this is just the sounds. Some of these sounds are really quiet and some of them are perfect level. So it's always hit or miss and I don't remember seeing a master volume anywhere on any of these guys, which was, like I said, a little disappointing because that means you have to really control the volume for this guy in your DAW, but I'd really like to have something that's a line level and then I can just turn it down as I want to. That's, to me, that's a better way to work rather than having, okay, this is just what the synth is outputting and I'm going to fix it in the DAW later or even record it to audio and normalize. It's a workflow thing for me. It doesn't necessarily make the synth bad, it's just, like I said, it's a workflow thing for me. Let's go to some of these other sounds. sound these sounds in here. Let's go through these chords. some of these ARP sounds. sounds here. All 
right, so now for my final verdict. I feel the presets in the F expansion um, synth squad are very hit or miss. I don't like that it also doesn't have a volume knob. Um, a master volume knob just so I can adjust the volume from the synthesizer actually coming into my DAW. Now, yeah, it's no big deal. You know, I can always put like a maximizer or something on it or even a compressor if I wanted to and just crank out the output volume. But why do all that just to get it to line level? Like that's kind of a big deal. The sounds, there's a lot of really good ones there and there's a lot of not so good ones there. This guy doesn't have effects on it, or none of these guys have effects on them, I should say. Um, but it is a fairly old synthesizer, synthesizer bundle too. And um, in its day, it was a real CPU beast. And that's why I think they didn't add the effects on there because it helps actually bring down some of that CPU load. A lot of professional producers use this guy and I don't think it's a horrible synthesizer, especially if you wanna make sounds on it. If you wanna make your own patches, I think that you have everything here, especially on Strobe. Strobe is my favorite of the devices, which I mentioned before. However, I do feel that um, an update would be great to some of the sound patches just to give it a little more of a modern flavor, a little bit of a modern feel. I also would love to see an updated, the modules updated since now the com computers can clearly handle what's there with effects on board. I'd also like to see again the um, volume thing which I know I keep bringing up just to be a little more streamlined um, just so I don't have to process it um, before mixing in a song. Um, the sounds, like I said, for a hit or miss. And other than that, though, I do think these guys are a good bundle. Do I think it's worth $250 right now? That, I don't know. Um, these guys do go on sale um, a few times a year, usually for $99. Bucks. For $99, bucks, I think these guys are still for $250. Uh, I wouldn't jump at it. I think it, when you hit the $200 range, there are better synths in that price range. So anyway, that's my thoughts on these guys. I give them a 6 out of 10. Not bad, not bad since at all. Um, but I do think their age is showing and they're pretty long in twos. And if they got an update, I think these guys could possibly be the best synth bundle on the market, especially if you keep it in that $200 price range. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. It does help me out a lot. I will see you guys next time. Check out KevWestBeats.com. And thanks for watching.